Mikey Moore is the latest Tottenham Hotspur player off the academy conveyor. Phenomenal. And this season was bound to be a big one for the 17-year-old. He's now getting closer and closer to becoming a consistent starter in Ange Postacoglu's Tottenham side. So today on the Sunny Talk Spurs YouTube channel, we're going to be talking about the incredible talent that makes Mikey Moore perfect for Tottenham. And if you are new around here, drop a like on the video, subscribe to Sunny Talk Spurs, hit the notification bell and leave your comments down below of how good you think Mikey Moore can be for Spurs. So after watching Mikey Moore the other night, for Tottenham against AZ Altmar in the Europa League. I was blown away by a 17-year-old's performance in one of the top competitions of European football. He was phenomenal. And I know I spoke about him briefly in my post-game reaction video, but I wanted to do a bit more of a deeper dive on just how good he is. And I have done one before, actually. I compared him to Harry Kane, but now come to think of it, he is our you know, next best prospect from the academy since Harry Kane was at the club. But moving on then about, you know, the news that why he is so on the front of the Spurs mindset is because after the AZ Altmar game and also with this Sunday's Premier League game against Crystal Palace, there's a chance he could start. There's a real good chance he could start because Timo Werner, we obviously know he's not good enough anymore for Spurs. Son might miss the game through injury, but looks like he probably will. Solanke and Brennan Johnson will be the other options in that Spurs attack. And I think Mikey Moore has done enough to play in a game in the Premier League from the beginning. And against Crystal Palace, you fancy him to be electric as always. So before we go any further, let's look at his stats from that AZ Outmar game. And this was his game by numbers, according to Squawker. Six touches in the opposition box, four take-ons attempted, three shots, three crosses, one chance created, one shot on target. What a talent, is what they said. He is just an absolutely phenomenal player. He has got all the potential in the world to really go and be an absolutely spectacular player for Tottenham in years to come. But even the eye test, you just knew that this player is a phenomenon. Look at them. I'm so impressed by him. And you just got to look at some of these compilations from the under-21s and youth teams from Tottenham and also England as well to show he is the perfect Ange Postacoglu winger. He is so direct and so absolutely on fire. It's just a joke. And for a 17-year-old, and you just got to think and put it into real perspective... It's because he plays for Tottenham that he's not getting as overhyped as some other players. I've seen, you know, different players up and down the leagues and across Europe being touted. And I know there's players like Laminia Mal who have been absolutely fantastic and obviously have started consistently for Barcelona from the age of 16, won the Euros as well. Obviously, they're on a whole different plane of field of talent. But Mikey Moore is showing that he could put his name in the hat especially in the Premier League. I just am backing him to be the full potential. And even the other night against uh, AZ Altmar, he deserved all the plaudits he got. He was being applauded by James Madison, who compared him to Neymar. And Postacoglu reacted to that, and it was quite funny. And also Danny Murphy on TalkSport had a fair bit to say about it as well. And sort of explained as well about bursting onto the scene at a young age. So I'm going to roll these clips now. You talked about Mikey like Neymar on the left wing, but how good is he? Yeah, that was tongue-in-cheek. I, I, I hope he doesn't see that and get carried away. Um, no, I was only messing, but he had a really good spot that second half. He was he was really good, really positive, direct. I think I used the word fearless. Driving at players and was really exciting. You could see the crowd get behind him, so um, that'll do him the world of good, yeah. Because he did that out in Budapest, didn't he? But this is on his home turf. The, the fans, the home fans seeing him as well, and they love one of their own, don't they? Like mm. As we saw with Harry. Yeah, I think oh, I'm not sure he was that direct in Budapest. Um, thought he played well, but tonight he was like really positive, and you could tell the first run he went on in the second half. He um, he went on a nice little run. It gave him a bit of confidence, and to be fair, we just kept giving the ball to him. You know, he, he, you could tell he was about he felt about ten feet tall. You know, so uh, we kept giving the ball to him. He was direct. He ran out of gas a little bit, but. <laughs> He was, he, was really, he was a threat, though, that's, and that's what you need. You don't just want to be pretty and look good. You want to have end product, and he, put, he created some good chances. It must be a dream to play with as a midfielder, that you know you're going to get that sort of uh, outlet there. 
Yeah, I don't know about a dream. We don't want to get carried away. No, no, uh, no. But <laughs> no it must I've just be called enjoyable. him Neymar. I can't say it's a dream. <laughs> um, no, he's it's, it's, it's an outlay. He's a very good player. For he, if you just forget about his age for a sec, if that was a performance of a 26-year-old winger tonight, you'd be saying he had a great game. People get obviously really excited about the fact that he's only 17, and they should because he is so young and he has that ability. But um, it's part, partly my job as a senior player to kind of keep him grounded and keep him chudding along and improving, um, which I'm sure he will. And I know you like wingers, and you could feel the crowd every time the ball was going towards Mikey Moore in the second half. Was so excited. What did you make of his performance? Yeah, it was it was exciting. I mean, I was. I was going to try and downplay, but apparently Matters has called him Neymar. So. <laughs> he has, yeah. yeah, so, yeah that's, 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 Dave has a free pass, yeah, by the way. Yeah, that's, that's blown that out of the water. Um, <laughs> look, the beauty of Mikey is I, I know it won't affect him at all. Um, he's such a mature um, young man, and um, it was. It was exciting, you know, over time the ball. I was willing to voice the pass to him as well because, um, you, know, he's, you know, he's got that ability to, to you know, go past people, which is, you know, the hardest thing to do in our game, uh, apart from scoring goals. And, um, you know, it doesn't, you know, if, he, if he's not successful, it doesn't phase him, he'll, he'll go again. And, you know, he's just turned 17 and even physically he's, he's such a strong, you know, young man. And oh, I know he's, he's, he's going to get better. And, um, look, he, he was brilliant, but he's been brilliant every time he's played for us. He's, every time we've asked him, we've just got to be really careful about sort of how we use him and when we use him, because I think, you know, for, for us, um, you know, he's going to be a pretty special player, but if he keeps performing like that and, you know, everything else sort of takes care of itself. Um, talking of Tottenham Hotspur, they've got a new superstar, Mickey, uh, Mikey Moore, earning comparison to May, May, Neymar from James Madison last night. Got a standing ovation from the home crowd. He switched uh, to the left-hand side at halftime in the game against AZ Alkmaar. Run right back, uh, Sayu Makuma, absolutely ragged. So much so that he had to be replaced with more than 20 minutes to go. You would have watched him, uh, Danny Murphy. How good is he? Yeah, he looks real... Really talented, really confident, like all great young players, complete belief in himself, um, not being overawed by the expectation or the talk of him. Um, I think it's inevitable you get this um, kind of frenzy of enthusiasm with young players now when you think of social media, when you think of the games being every game is televised somewhere so everybody gets to see, not quite the same as when I started out. And I think... Young players are very well equipped to deal with it now. I mean, not everybody will come through and hit the heights they're expected to, but to get to the level he has through the Tottenham Academy, he's, 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 he's already played under pressure. Well, kids are playing under pressure from a young age mm. these days. To you know, even at twelve, thirteen, even younger, to keep their contracts with the centre of excellence. Well, it used to be called centre of excellence. You know, the scholarship, the, the academies, and the sco as they get to scholars, they're always playing under pressure. And I think they get more help. Um, and I think the only advantage of the social media world is that kids are exposed to a wider audience from a younger age, which I think helps them make it make make the transition easier. So I don't see a problem for him in that respect. Um, I think Angel manages minutes, but he looks a hell of a talent. And when you've got young players who come through, um, the fans will always give them that little extra support and help and want them to wish them well. You know, I think that that's that you could hear, that you could see last night um, so really pleased for him just keep keep fit keep on the periphery of it keep getting your minutes keep showing the world how good you are and wait your time I mean we talked for how many years about Foden um, waiting his time and being patient and look at him now yeah, it's terrific as well that he has the opportunity to play in the Europa League. I uh, did the game against Ferenc Varos and he played really well in that match as well. And one of the things that Chelsea have sort of found out is that they can use, because of uh, the, the depth of their squad, and, and Tottenham's squad isn't particularly deep, um, they've left room for players like Mikey Moore, Will Lankshire as well, to be able to come through and play in these matches in the Europa League. And as you say, it's important, isn't it, for them to get exposed to first team action and do so in an environment where they're able to thrive. There's nothing better than playing in a full stadium with with a, with repercussions for your performance. That that's what creates the player's experience and gives him um, the belief in himself. It's all well and good in 
under 23 football or you know academy football but that's the real test and when you're playing in a side also Sam where you're allowed freedom Angie's teams play with freedom he, he's not restrictive in yeah. any way and they've got good players and also the level of the opposition helps because they're dominating most of those games so you're getting plenty of the ball to show off your talents um, obviously that might be different as they progress through the tournament we'll probably see a more uh, a, a stronger side but for now I think he's getting the balance quite right uh, Danny knows what it's like to be a youngster that's burst onto the scene and, and be in the glare of the limelight I remember when you moved uh, from Crewe to Liverpool mm. you were the talk of the town then Danny you know what it was like did you deal with it okay do you think not really no <laughs> um, it didn't half help me social life and love life I'll tell you that much um <laughs> It really did. Uh, no, I wasn't very good because I became famous overnight, became reasonably wealthy overnight in comparison to, you know, to normal people and probably didn't have the right guidance at the time or the right people around me to help me navigate that. Um, hence the fact my true Liverpool career didn't really start till my third season. But yeah, it's, mm. as I said before, I think people, I think the kids now are better supported. They've got much more awareness of that coming to them. Um, I wasn't aware of how to deal with it. And no, in answer to your question, I didn't deal with it very well at all. And another reason why he's so good for Spurs, and you can tell this straight away, is he's humble. And I think that's what Ange likes in his players. He wants a player who's going to play that Ange style and really, you know, bleed. Tottenham Hotspur. Someone from the Youth Academy we love to bits. We're already chanting his name. He's one of our own, which is just so, so good. But this new crop of youngsters coming through at Spurs at the moment, your Lucas Bergvals, your Archie Grays, Mikey Moore, to name just a few, are just what the future of Tottenham should be. Built around some core talent who could go all the way. And I mentioned, obviously, Sun and the problem we have with Son, and the, that problem is, is he's not getting any younger. He is still so good, but these injuries are picking up and he is playing a lot of minutes, resulting in injuries. So we need to find ready replacements. We've obviously signed Odebert in the summer and also Yang, but he's obviously on loan at the moment. But to bring someone in from your youth academy, that homegrown quota and that English quota is really important for the team going forward. So I am really happy that he has been able to find his way into the first team this year. A lot of the youngsters have. You know, we saw Mikey Moore in pre-season and he was able to put his mark on the team. He wasn't loaned out and he has been given a chance. And I think he's repaid the manager. He looked good in both Europa League games. I think he's now ready for that Premier League start, especially with Sun's injury. I'd love to see him link up with Solanke for a 90 minutes and Brennan Johnson and Kulisevsky as well. I think they could unlock even more talent in him. And because that second string Tottenham side that we've seen in the Europa League, it's not firing on all cylinders because there's so many changes. Nine changes the other night, for example. But this is really pleasing to see. And also, I want to just play his interview that he gave after his debut for Spurs because... You just see what sort of character this guy is and what he could be for Spurs. And we're joined down here at Pitchside by debutant Mikey Moore. Congratulations, Mikey. How did you find it out there? Yeah, no, it was good. The pace was it was so quick, but it, was, it felt crazy coming on. It felt like I was like playing FIFA. <laughs> it felt mad. <laughs> so it's a, is that the biggest thing that you noticed, the pace of the game? Yeah, yeah, coming on, just like just trying to press, but obviously it moved the ball so quick, but... Yeah, I've got a couple of touches for the ball. Hopefully, some more soon. Hopefully, living the dream, mate. I mean, this is what we this is what we want to. See. You, you you have to understand how happy everyone connected with the club is when you step on that pitch. This is what it's yeah. about. This is what all, we all want to see. What the fans want to see coming through the system, stepping onto the pitch. Yes, obviously, like as a young player coming through the academy, it's, it's all you want really. You want to make your debut. So coming on, it's just like. It's probably the best feeling I've ever had, to be fair. Talk us through yeah. your season, mate, because it's been a bit up and down, isn't it? You've had a few injuries, haven't you? Because, I mean, yeah. everyone saw you in the last season. You're absolutely on fire. Yeah. But this season's been a little bit disrupted, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been a bit It's been a bit hard to get going at times. Like I've had a couple injuries at, at hard points in the season, especially, like, I come back after one I've got another. But hopefully now I'll just stay away from injuries and just keep going, really. Mikey, how's it been training with the first team? Can you give us some insight to what that's been like the last few weeks? 
Yeah, no, it's, it's been good to be like, it's good to see the level of the players and it ups your level, I think. Like, you start to get sharper, you start to get better on the ball. So it's been good to be like, learning off of players like Sonny, Mathers. Like, yeah, it's, it's been unbelievable, really. And has Ange Postacoglu said much to you? Has he given you much instruction? What's been happening with that? Yeah, he's, 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 he spoke to me at times, but it's, 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 all, the, it's all the coaching stuff, so... They all, they all play their part in it. Just told me as I come on the pitch, basically just enjoy it, really. That's all it's about. So, yeah, I'll try to. <laughs> Mikey, just very finally, now that you've had that experience, you've had a few minutes out there, I know it's only been a little while since you've come off the pitch. Have you got the, you got the bug? Have you got that feeling, oh, I just want to be back out there yeah, again? Yeah, yeah. I was asking the ref how long to go. As soon as I come <laughs> on, I wanted it to keep going. Yeah. Add another few on there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was trying to tell him, but, yeah, I just want to get on again, really. Hopefully... Many more, to be fair. Mike, it was a tough result tonight, but we're so proud of you. Congratulations. You. Well done. Cheers. And, Mikey, just Thank to let you know, you are our youngest ever Premier League player. It's unbelievable, Aye. to be fair. Aye. In you go. You know Into that. the record books. <laughs> In case you didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I got, I got told straight away. So yeah. as I got to pitch. <laughs> Lots yeah. more to come. So you guys are going to have to let me know, what do you make of Mikey Moore? Get in that comment section. Let me know all your thoughts on the player, because I, for one, think he's an absolutely incredible talent i'm so excited to see more of him in the premier league i think he's going to be absolutely on fire so yeah hope you've enjoyed the video guys leave a like on the video if you have enjoyed it and you know if you think mikey moore's an absolute wizard uh, the next gareth bell hopefully as well and also subscribe hit the notification bell and it will let you know when i've gone live such as when i react to the crystal palace match hopefully we get a win fingers crossed but until then see you guys pretty soon ciao